is going on, my friend? I know I've, I've been so busy and this isn't even how I wanted us to like catch up. I wanted us to like hang out without having to do any work, but I'm on the clock, so I gotta handle this. But listen, we're gonna have like a proper hangout catch up time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So please forgive my multitasking for today, but I promise you it's gonna be just me and you. Like, give me like a week or two weeks and let's, I don't know, let's have like a mini trip or something. You down for like a road trip or something? Okay. Yeah, we don't gotta go far, you know, just somewhere where we can kind of just chill and be away from all the noise and really get a chance to to tap in to see how we're doing. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. But in the meantime, I at least just wanted to get a chance to hang out. So, first of all, before I even go into like what I've been doing, start let's start with you what's what's been the latest like what's been going on yo i've been i've been following you yeah, i've been following you online and social media i've been seeing you on your tiktok and your instagram uh-huh <laughs> yes i love your videos you're hilarious you're hilarious Congratulations. That's got to be pretty exciting. Yeah. And more money, right? Not that it's, you know, life is all about money, 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 but it's great to see your work rewarded, you know, and we do need money, you know, so I, I totally get that. <laughs> right. That's, that's more responsibility, but would you say it's worth it, though? Nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand. Yeah, you know, when I was in the 9 to 5, um, there was a certain stability that came with it, and, you know, and benefits, and a certain routine you know consistent routine and i did appreciate that to a large degree but for me it wasn't you know when i think about it now it's not so much that it was a nine to five that was the issue because now being self-employed being an entrepreneur i work more than nine to five you know what i mean i always feel like i'm on the clock but it was the substance it was the it was the job, it was the, the the material, it was all of that, you know. I just, I wasn't passionate about it. And um, I had desires that were elsewhere. And getting up every morning and going through that, and it wasn't like that in the beginning, but eventually going through that, th those motions of just, oh, I'm here, but I'd rather be there and all of that, you know. That's challenging, you know what I'm saying? So, I was happy for the shift, you know, yeah. Hold on right quick. Okay. But anyways, um, yeah, so, and not, you keep going, so, anything else that's been, been happening? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you saying that love is in the air? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I am happy for you. I think that love is a beautiful thing, so, you know. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. Well, I think that... You know, 
having that 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 type of well, okay, if it's not what, what phase would you say you're at now then, like an infatuation? Okay, okay, yeah, that's that's cool, and that's fun too. And I, I was I was kind of using love casually, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I just I just wanted to give you the chance, you know, to share everything. Um, but yeah, as for me, recently I was back home. I went back home because um, a family member, one of my aunts, she passed away from complications of COVID nineteen. And yeah, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that, thank you. Um, and so I was there for several days. And you know how it is when when family gets together for like funerals, it's always a bittersweet thing. It's bitter because we're there for the loss of someone, and that's never easy. You know what I mean? It's a sobering thing, but it's also emotionally. Um, you're emotionally invested in that experience, you know. Um, but then the sweet part, in a sense, is that you know you might see family, and maybe even some friends that you haven't seen in a while. And also, it's it's always, and what I mean by sobering is that it kind of puts things in perspective, in per, into perspective. <laughs> it puts things into perspective about, yo, know, life is here, life moves on, life ends. You know, things aren't forever, as they say. So, um, it was that. But yes, yeah, so I was home for several days, and. Uh, you know, see my parents and some of my siblings and some extended family and friends. And that was um, also a break from my, my usual routine, but I wish I could have been for other circumstances, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so that was that. Then I came back and, you know, back to my daily grind of my vocal coaching and working on my music and you know trying to catch up with friends you know what i'm saying so there's that um you know you know how i am with um equipment and all of that yeah because you know i do like um video creation content creation like like you you know what i'm saying and uh you know i was rocking with the um and i know you know a little bit about cameras but I was rocking with the Panasonic GH5 for about three years. And it it gave me it gave me some good times, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now I I I went ahead and sold um my that camera and the lenses that I had. You know, I sent them off to Adorama and so they're gonna, you know, quote it and let me know how much they'll give me for all of that. But now I'm dating, now I'm dating the Blackmagic 6K Pro. Mm hmm yeah. You know, I've been, I've been wanting um, a Blackmagic for a little while because I, I really love their color science, you know. Oh, hold on real quick. Just a heads up, I gotta go in like a couple minutes because I need to hit up this client and take care of them. I got a session. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I got the black magic, so I'm, I'm loving it so far, you know what I'm saying? And um, so there's that. And then, okay, just randomness. You know, no offense this is not intended to be offensive and if it is please know that's my that's again that's not my intent but recently i went to the dmv to get my my license renewed i don't know what it is i have empathy for everyone for the most part um because i know people at dmv offices can like and i don't mean the workers i mean like people like my, you know just us us who go into the office can be acting a fool but 
I don't know, I just seem like every time I go to the DMV, every time I've gone throughout my life, it's always been like an arduous process of just exaggeration and attitudes. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. So, I don't know, but anyway, so I went there to get my license renewed. And here's the thing, I looked up all the information that I needed to before I got there. So I made sure I had all my papers. Then when I got there, they needed to have hard copies of my insurance. Of course, that wasn't on the website. So I was like, whatever. So they had a computer there that, you know, you could go on and print or whatever. But of course, the computer was archaic. It was slow. The browser, one browser couldn't open up my emails. So I had to go to another search engine. And then it wasn't showing the attachment. And I don't know what that was about. I guess the computer wasn't updated. <sighs> Anyways, it was just a mess. And I was there way longer than I needed to be. And I was like, dang, y'all, y'all gotta, gotta be more efficient. Now, some of the workers there, they were really efficient, but it was just like the system altogether. So, but anyway, so I, I, I got that done. Um, and like I said, it's just been the usual thing for me, you know. Um, but, you know, summertime is coming. You know, so I'm ready for, you know, a little summertime fun. Summer, summer, summertime. <laughs> So I'm ready for that. Huh? Oh yeah. You know we you know we're gonna get into that. You know that. So um Oh okay, I got I gotta go. I gotta go. Um okay listen. We are gonna have a like I said, we're gonna have a proper get together. Okay, just me and you hanging out, not with our computers or our phones. Well, you know, our phones will be there, but not with our computers, no work just tuned in not multitasking or distracted so let's just pick a date and let's just ride out and have some fun you know what i'm saying yeah you know life i'm i'm co continuing to learn to be present and in the moment and just really enjoy and cherish everyone that i'm in contact with to the best of my ability you know, so I'm thankful. I'm just grateful to be alive. And I want to, as they say, live it to the fullest. <laughs> so that's what me and you going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yes. Yes. All right. So let me go ahead and um, get myself together. Um, of course, it's always good to see you. You know, I love you. And we're going to get up soon. Very soon. And not soon. Like for real, for real. Let's plan it. All right. Bet. All right. I'm out. later.